When next travelling past one of our sprawling informal settlements, take a minute and give a thought to the millions of shack dwellers we have in our country and what their living conditions must be like. Think about our suburban homes of brick and mortar with a roof and ceiling compared to these sheet metal cubes with no insulation. Here we are at the Itemba project in Masipamalela. This is the second version of the jumbo shack, a double storey shack Upstairs bedroom, downstairs kitchen and living room, all on a 3 by 3 meter footprint. But as you can see, the structure is wood and corrugated iron. By day, a massive oven and by night, a huge fridge for people living inside. On a hot day in Cape Town of 35 degrees, the temperature inside the shack soars to 47 degrees Celsius. And at night, thanks to the cold bridge effect, the temperature plummets to 5 degrees Celsius. This is IBR roof sheeting, which is very strong. Here, the IBR is covered with thermofabric, which is made from recycled materials. It's glued down and painted white to reflect the sun's rays and heat. Covering the roof creates long air cavities and air is a very good insulator. The ends can be blocked off or left open. Corrugated iron is very popular. Here, thermofabric covers the section and is glued to the top ridge. Long air cavities are also formed. The ends can also be blocked off or left open. This is a bigger section which is used for the roof or wall. Here the ends are sealed off. With this section of corrugated iron, the air cavities make excellent insulation. Also, the sun's rays are reflected away from the surface. Using thermal data loggers, we found a three to four degree drop in temperature. Thermocrete is a new product, ultra lightweight, fire resistant plaster. Here's a great way to insulate. This is a mixture of polystyrene beads and cement, which is plastered into the valleys of the corrugated iron. Here you see the polystyrene beads in the mix of the cement. Also, the mix is fire resistant. It can be plastered to the inside and the outside. Here on a bigger sample, the thermocrete has been hand packed roughly. Once it dries, it is then plastered smooth and painted. You get an excellent looking finish, just like a normal plastered painted wall. This is a vertical veggie planter made from thermo fabric. The wet soil helps keep the wall cool. The thermo vent is a hot air extractor to get rid of the air out the shack. This sucks hot air out of the shack. The wind can blow from any direction and the extractor will work Here's a thermo cooler. This is a charcoal cooler which is filled with charcoal. Air is sucked into the shack over holes drilled in the wall and over the charcoal. When the water evaporates, it sucks hot air in, evaporates and cools the surrounding air. Mounting the thermo vent away and on the opposite side of the shack creates a cross flow of air. This is good, cools the air down. Here we have a security hut. The roof has been covered with thermo fabric and painted white. Inside we've manufactured thermofoil, which is a sealing insulator. This is reflective packaging glued to newspaper. Very easy DIY. The security were very cold at night and had the heater on the whole day. After installation, they were very warm. We reduced the heater use by 70%, saving a massive amount of electricity.